So welcome to the 1212 pizza recipe. The ingredients are what you need is a flour, yeast, water, salt. So one kilogram of flour of my sack, pop it into the bowl with the salt, which we've got 30 grams of. Pop that in and then the first thing we need to do is make sure the salt and the flour are well mixed together. So round it goes. And then what we need next is the yeast, one gram of that, which is about a teaspoonful. Pop that in the water and the oil. Uh, mix together, get a really good mix, make sure all the lumps are knocked out. And then once that's done, add that into the one kilogram of flour and salt. Mix those together with a fork. And um, when it starts to come together like that, as you can see on the screen, it's combining nicely together. It's then time to put that onto the mixing board. So just tip it out and then just make sure you give it a good scrape out that bowl. Make sure you get all the flour out because every little piece helps, especially when it comes to pizza making. So once we've got that all out, it's then to start time to have a knead and make sure that we're getting a really, really good mix, knocking all those uh, lumps out, make it into a nice smooth dough. So, yep, using the heel of your hand and your fingers and squishing it all together, just making sure you're getting it all nice and into that kind of bowl shape there, as you can see. So once we get into that bowl shape, just make a big bowl and then we just need to then add it back into a floured mixing bowl and then we need to then get a shower cap and cover it up so once it's covered up like this we then need to leave it so the following day 11 a.m we'll get it out of the fridge there we go lift it out and what we want to do here is we want to leave this a good couple of hours or so just to come back up to room temperature because making the dough balls will be a lot easier if we leave it out and let it come back up to room temperature. So after one or two hours, this is 1pm on Saturday, it's our time to make some dough balls. So first thing, let's get the dough out of the bowl flour your hands it's a lot easier if you put some flour on your hands you can use oil on your hands as well if you wish so lay that out onto the chopping board again and then just make sure that it's in a nice bowl and then we're going to do 240 grams so cut the first one off and we'll just weigh it so that weren't a bad guess on that one roll it around make sure it's a nice smooth ball it'll make pizza making a lot easier when we come to roll, making out the base put it in the flour give it a knock knock all the excess off and then the next thing we need to do is just wait again just to make sure that it's still 240 now i use these takeaway boxes you can get them from poundland they're really convenient and they're really easy to stack so once that's done, leave them out for four hours. Here's the ingredients. So we've got bits of everything, really. I like a pizza with everything. So 5 p.m. Saturday then. So we're ready now for the first pizza. And we're going to get that dough ball out of this takeaway box. So here we go. And we're going to make sure that we're using plenty of flour. So that when we come to just putting it back into a bit of a circle shape, so remove the excess flour off the board and then with those fingers we're wanting to roll out that uh, pizza base. Not going anywhere near the edges because we want a bit of a crust on this particular one. Uh, if you don't want a crust and you're wanting something thin, use a rolling pin. So once that's we've gone round, as you can see, avoiding that edge, the next thing we need to do is just probably just make it a little bit wider so what you'll notice next is that we'll lift it off the board and then we'll start to roll it out using our knuckles so here we go like a steering wheel and then just roll it across your fists like that put it back on the board and then open the pizza base up so on with some tomato sauce 
go. Nicely done. Uh, on with a bit of hard cheese, a bit of mozzarella, and some smoked cheddar. I do like this smoked cheddar. We'll put you some links to the uh, cheddar cheese, what we smoked early in another video. Some jalapenos, black olives, and we'll also put some pepperoni on. Love a pepperoni pizza uh, with a few veggies on. And then the next bit we'll put some uh, fresh mozzarella on as well. There we go, just laying that in between. So one of the things I do is make sure that uh, when it comes now, lift the back end up and that's onto the peel. So into the oven. And what we're waiting for here is for that back edge to rise up as a crust. And then we'll be ready for turning it. So using the turning peel here, just warming it up, just lifting that up, just making sure it comes away. And then the first turn and just keep it moving. As you can see, so it becomes brown on the crust. Have a little look underneath. That looks about done to me. Get the main peel out. Wow, look at that beautiful pizza. So onto the chopping board and listen to this crunch. It really, really is a crispy pizza. That 15 pence flour is fantastic value from Tesco's. And it really does deliver a crunchy pizza. So that's all that sliced up. And there you go. It was a lovely, lovely pizza, this, I've got to say. It tasted absolutely fantastic. But what we're gonna do next is pop it into the box. And uh, we're just gonna put a little bit of rocket on top. Some people like basil, some people like rocket. So pop a little bit on the top. And then that's ready to go. So here's another pizza I made earlier as well. This was very nice as well. So all that remains to say is thanks for watching and we'll see you again on the next video coming up very shortly. Bye bye.